All right, welcome back to the Tuesday show. So let's talk more about game stuff. Yep, that is coming up. Uh, okay. They have announced that Jam, who is going to show up in a Revelator, in Guilty Gear X and Revelator, um, is going to come into the Japanese arcades late September. But she's already location tested. Right. So there's been a lot of footage that's been coming out of there. And, uh, you know, also still, I mean, this is not the first game to do it, but it's just awesome that they do have training mode in arcades now. Dude, it's such a good idea. You just pay quarters, and instead of playing against the useless computer, you just do training mode, and then someone challenges sure. you. And then whoever wins goes to training mode. <laughs> it's just such a great idea. So there's actually a lot of footage of people testing stuff out and going through, and I'm actually really happy with how Jam looks right now. Okay. So I, I did play her a little bit, because back in X, like the early XX, I played a lot of the characters. Right. Right. And so Jam I really enjoyed because basically she's this character. She has to build up cards. She's like kind of like an OD version of Johnny instead of hit you with a coin. She's like trying to build up cards. And it looks like in this game, so before she could build up one card at a time, but this one looks like if you hold the button, she can actually build up more if you hold it. Okay. But it let you chain in move into each other and cause like unteckable knockdowns and all these things. And then the later on, she turned into this character that was just about like all these wall splat stuff and I just wasn't a fan of the character but okay. looks like they're bringing her back more to the OG style okay so she's a, it's actually kind of exciting for me to see again and not only that but they are getting really really good at this uh, this unreal engine anime graphics manipulation stuff I see because she looks really good like just graphically really good and like when she does her instant kill like the start off of it like she goes through anime faces and all these things like that because you know how they always say like you can't make these characters 3d because they can't do morphing they can't yeah. do up like they do a lot they figured it out yeah they did a lot of really cool stuff and then uh, then <laughs> when she wins off of her destroy she just ends up in anime crying face and just like stays uh, there the whole time six. Really, really dorky looking she's a goofy character but I don't know, I just, I feel like they're getting really good at doing the graphics. Because even Johnny's instant kill was super sick. Yeah, the I saw he, like, chases the cars and stuff that. like that, so. But yeah, Jam looks really cool. I'm super excited That's for that. That's cool. So, yeah, nice. I, I, I'm super, I, I, when they first announced her, I was like, meh. Because, like I said, I didn't like how she became. Yeah. But now, now that I've seen the footage, I'm actually kind of excited about okay. her again. I've even heard, like, she has the fastest and lowest quickest uh, instant air dash so her instant air dash game is super super good and you know me i love aggressive characters mm -hmm. so that might actually suit me very well yeah that makes sense so, yeah so i've been watching a lot of uh Exer lately just to see jacko oh that's right basically. yeah because yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. i really like the idea of that character mm -hmm. but the more i've watched of it and of course it's very early so mm -hmm. who knows mm -hmm. but it seems like it's not super useful in neutral, the minions. Right, it doesn't seem like it's a zoning tool Yeah, as much. which is what yeah. I was hoping for. Yeah. But it seems more like it's you sort of snowball and you know, you, <laughs> you do some combo or into setup and then now here's all your dudes, like that kind of thing. Right, right, right. Which is a little bit less interesting to me, unfortunately. Right. But, yeah. It's sad, because I mean, like, that's what we thought with Ramlethal when you first see the swords. You're like, oh, she might be planting the swords and zoning. And yeah, and there's like thoughtful stuff going on, right? Yeah, but, but it just, it never turns out that way in Guilty Gear. Actually, you know what? You know what character you would have enjoyed? You would have enjoyed Justice in Plus R. Yeah, I can see my, I can see myself playing yeah, Justice. Uh, yeah, that was such a weird character. Yeah, he seems really fun. <laughs> but uh, I mean, she was all about zoning and throwing right. those fireballs, and uh, it, it was just cool because you could let go at any time and, and have them blow up and stuff like that. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. She did. She did look cool. But anyway, we'll see what happens with Jacko. It's still early. Yep. Um, also, uh, Rising Thunder has gotten a new update. It's I mean, basically, it's not really a lobby system, but they they just wanted to put something out there as fast and dirty as right. possible. So basically, you can create a lobby with a password that you can give your friend, and now you guys can play each other endlessly. So as long as they have the password to enter, you can play against people that you know. Right. So now uh, people are going to have an opportunity to do stuff like that. And in fact, um, is it still going right now? I don't even know. Let me see here. Twitch.tv slash Showdown GG has, has still a Rising yeah. Thunder tournament going on since you can match up, like James is saying. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. now it's not just that you meet up with random people, whoever you get matched up with on ranked. Now you can actually purposely play against people. So 
I think that's really cool. I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying it out because certainly I talked a lot with people on Twitter and on the forums about it, about the game and mm -hmm. our thoughts and stuff. And mm -hmm. we were always like, you know, it's too bad we can't test this stuff out yeah, 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 yeah. on purpose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We would get matched up occasionally, but just occasionally. So now, now it's going to be cool. We can really, I think, flesh the game out a little <laughs> bit better. Well, it looks like a Filipino champ is doing well in the tournament right now. He's playing his Chell, going up against the Talos. Oh, yeah. Kodiri. I played against that, that dude all the time. Oh, well, he's blowing up champ right now. Yeah, he's Jeez. a good Talos. He's a good Talos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Talos he's right now is, is needs work. Yeah, nerfs, yeah, basically. He needs nerfs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, he does. Obviously, I'm not going to show it right here because right. yeah, I don't want to restream it or anything like Twitch. that. Twitch.tv so. slash showdown GG. This is taking place at the Foundry right now. Yeah, so, up in yeah. Uh, San Francisco. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, you know, watch it now, or if you're watching later, it, it'll be on the archives probably. So. Yep, for sure. Recommend it. And, you know, I did... So remember how we talked about that, that Marvel match, right? The, the, the Chris G versus Takumi? Yeah. I actually watched that on my phone through archives. I was so happy. Yes. <laughs> I've done that too. Thank you for finally enabling archives again. Jeez. Just took a, took a while mm -hmm. for, for what I feel like was a crucial feature. I hear you. But, yeah, I'm definitely uh, There were also that. some changes to the characters in Rising Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. In, in, included in that patch yeah as well. included yeah. in that patch uh, mm -hmm. Crow nothing yet but they say it's going to come soon yeah Edge uh, got Edge a new got uppercut changes. yeah I got a new uppercut variant and stuff like that it's really interesting because it really seems like they're really doing minor tweaks between the moves whereas someone like Talos goes from this crazy shoulder rush to having this magnet which are like completely different right. weapons I'd almost kind of like to see that a little bit uh, more okay. like, totally like just like have completely different uses for some moves and stuff like that so i'm definitely with you because can you imagine too like if eventually no that'd be so hard to balance if you just let you assign whichever specials to <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be really hard yeah that'd, that'd be, be really hard. hard and there'd be some broken things you could do yeah there'd be some very very broken things so but yeah tal has got a little bit nerfed forward h is a little bit less range mm -hmm. but they buffed the buster Magnetic Buster. Which oh, that's the that's the magnet yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, they buffed uh -huh. that just a little bit, so okay. hopefully that'll that'll help it out a little bit there. Yeah, I mean right now the shoulder seems too useful because positioning sure. and combos, and, and, yeah, and, combos yeah. and positioning. And like you said a long time ago, it, it just leads the combos off of lights. That's which what I'm is about, yeah. so important. Dude, it's 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 ex green hand for no meter. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, that yeah. gives you a free cross up. Right. Right, so yeah, yeah it's really, really good. Good. Anyway, we'll see what they end up doing with it. But the, the big thing is that now you can purposely match up against people in that game. Yeah, yeah, so that's cool stuff. Um, yeah, exactly. Three uppercuts. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot of ADC, I forgot of ADC. Uh, right, sorry, yeah, KADC, yeah. KADC. But, uh, um, oh, they, by the way, they nerfed KADC toward just a little bit now. Yeah, yeah, a little it's, bit less safe. It's safe. It's still safe, you but can't much, actually punish it. But much less so. So yeah, I mean maybe something like Talos Super Command Grab Super will yeah, punish it. You know right, those yeah. those exceptions to the rule, right? So, um, but also uh, in MKX, I guess we're not done with characters yet because Boone kind of tweeted out like a teaser pick of one of those who's next, and there's like yeah. four silhouettes in there, right? The next combat pack. Yeah. yeah. I don't know when that's going to come out. Presumably it won't be for a while. But yeah, there, it's it's nice to see that it's not done. Um, I, I, disagreed with, I disagreed with myself halfway through saying that sentence. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. I, can. I, like, I, I was like, oh, hold on, hold on. No, no. Um, but see, at least you can take it back. If I was Mike Ross, you would have went right in I there. Would've. You would have been like, four characters is the best. It, it would have been so good. Yeah. That's uh, probably true. Yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, no, you know what? It, it's nice in the sense that it means that the game has been successful. And, and what I really hope mm -hmm. is that they keep supporting MKX and that they don't move on to like Injustice 2. Oh, right. Or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's what has been the case. Like MK, M MK9 came out. Two years later, they announced Injustice, and then it came out. Two years later, they announced MKX, and then mm -hmm. that came out. So I really hope that that cycle gets disrupted, because I would like it for MKX to be out for, like, a few years. Right, right. Like I'd like yeah. to play MKX yeah. for a few years. I mean, <sighs> that's probably not up to them. It'll probably be up more up to DC than I imagine anything, you're right. you know. I imagine you're right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, some people are talking about this. It's probably going to be a lot of the characters that were in story mode that haven't showed up yet. I'm sure. 
Dude, there were some characters, like, I was like, who the... Like, there was the one where they're fighting the Outworld, and Jax is, like, fighting, and some girl runs up and is like, let me help you, and does all this stuff. And I was like, who the heck even is this character? Dude, you know how many characters are in that? I know! There are so many characters now. But I, I guess what I would expect is, like, Sindel, because right now they're doing a Sindel, like, invades Earthrealm thing, oh, you know, on, the, okay, on the tower okay, okay, okay. challenge thing that they always update. So right. that's a sign that Min might be Sindel. Yeah. But on top of that, um, I just like I gotta think that like Rain is in there because he's one of the characters who you was can fight as you, well. Yeah. You fought uh, as you fought against in story mode. Mm-hmm. Same with Baraka. Like they built oh, these yeah, characters. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. So it just seems weird to not have them, <laughs> Serena. That's what the character Serena. they're talking about. Yeah, Serena. from MK Mythologies Sub Zero. Because everybody played that game. Although you should have played Shaolin Monks, because that game is fun. That game was well, fun. I did try that game out. That game was fun. It was yeah. the little beat em up. I don't know. Like I said, it's pre God of War, God of War, so. Yeah. 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 But anyway, I expect more characters or more announcements about that in the indefinite future. But in the meantime, the game is, um, you know, it has some glitches. Mm-hmm. Okay, it has some issues. There was a glitch with Spectral Ermac where he sort of floats or like almost like ice really fast around the screen yeah, yeah uh, it's like he's on ice or something it's really weird looking that happens if you're doing some stuff in the corner um Takeda has a thing where he <laughs> that's right Gilly's in the stream he worked on Shaolin Monks uh, yeah, that's there, right well, there, there you go yeah. <laughs> there you go seriously everybody who worked on that game went to God of War I didn't know like, it was like that yeah, okay. everybody who went to that game went to God of War okay. so I didn't know that including Derek Daniels and okay. including that's uh cool. Including uh, Eric, okay. you know, and everybody, like all those guys. Okay. So, yeah. well, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Um, Takeda has really tight box turning that a lot of characters can't do do anything about unless they use EX meter. Mm-hmm. So you know, there's still some stuff that's like being ironed out uh, that came along with the new patch. But other than that, I really like where the game is right now. Mm-hmm. I feel like mm-hmm. almost all the characters are legit, and like for example, people complain that Katana got nerfed in the patch. She did. She does a little bit less damage. But it's like 5% less <laughs> for like a full screen conversion. Like right. literally full screen, she just throws a fan and if you are too, if you get hit by it for whatever reason, it's 30%. So that's not 35 or whatever anymore. That was all unbreakable too, right? It's so mostly unbreakable. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and yeah, you know, if her corner combo is not 47 or, or whatever anymore. Now it's like 40. Like, <laughs> so whatever. I mean, look. Basically, she got to grand finals of the first major tournament to happen after the nerf. Right, so yeah. she's doing okay. Yeah, I mean, my favorite kind of nerfs usually are not change the way the character plays, change the result of what of the same thing that they did. Either it doesn't give them as much frame advantage, like when they change yeah. Eric Black's gun thing, or it does less damage, or it puts them in a worse position. Those are the kind of things that I like. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I don't like taking away stuff that's kind of cool and fun that's in there that might be too good. You can nerf something without making the move bad. Yeah. You can make it still do work the same way, but just change how it reacts and stuff like that. So I, I think the game seems really balanced right now, to be honest. I, I really like it. I think it's awesome. Yeah, you were even trying to name your top ten, and you accidentally left out, like, Predator and Devorah, right? Yeah, characters who are <laughs> definitely are top ten, so... I, I don't know. It's, it's really tough to call who's top tier and who's high tier, and who's mm-hmm. not viable. It seems like everybody's probably viable, so... Uh, you know what? As it is right now, I think that the patch did a really good job. Mm-hmm. Um, it's... I wish that it had just been that they would do the first... For the first patch, like, le- like release the game maybe a couple of patches, and then just let it rock for, like, right. four months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, then we get this big patch, but, you know, it didn't work out like that. But now, with what it should be the final patch until whenever these new characters come out, barring, like, fixing these glitches and stuff, <laughs> um, it should be pretty stable, which means we have a lot of time, hopefully now, to, like, really figure the game out. Right. Yeah, unless, of course, you know... We'll it's, see. Because, I mean, their pattern so far has always been new character, really powerful. You're right. A new character, really powerful. So, yeah, we'll exactly. See. They just need to create seasons. If they created seasons, I think that would be great. Every three months, patch the game. I'm in there. That sounds it's great. Perfect. Right after Evo. Like, use Evo as the basis of the three yeah. months, right? Evo's done. Patch. Three months. Or actually, Evo's done one month patch because then they can see yes. the results of Evo and be like, hmm, yes. how do we react to this patch? And then just keep doing that. And then that way, the patch will come out two months before Evo plenty of time instead of having a patch come out 
the weekend before Evo. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like maybe you release the game in the fall, and then you have like s four months or something to figure out how the game should be, right, and then you patch right. in like, you know, May, something like that, <laughs> a couple months until Evo, yeah, and then, yeah. you know what I mean, like something like that. I don't know. Just I hope. Whatever. I mean, this none, is, that, none of that's gonna happen. Right. 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 But and then this is this also is not exclusive to MK. This is what I want to see out of all of the fighting games. Yeah. To be honest, I'm with you. you. Unless it's a glitch like the. Like the Tanya, you know, right. glitch, the throw glitch that she had, or, or, or stuff like that. Cool. If it's not something like that that obviously was unintended, you know, just leave them in there, let it rock for a while. Even stuff that seems way too good. Like, obviously Cable Air Hyper Viper Beam is, like, really good. One of the best things in the game. Potentially could felt... I mean, when people found it, it just looked like it was going to ruin the game. It was That was it. It was like Cable's the best character. He was the fourth best character in the game, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> it's not necessarily the case. It's not necessarily the case. So um, sometimes you just gotta let those things rock, you know, and see how it goes. I don't really expect them to do anything different the next game. To be honest, I think it's gonna be exactly the same way. But I would love to see it be different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you're right. I know you're right. I think so. I'm right about that. <laughs> so. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so so, I, I talk about this game every once in a while. I don't even know if these are all different versions or whatever like that. I apologize to the fans of Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. But, Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition is heading to home consoles on December 17th. So, um, if you're cool. a fan of that game, definitely check that out. That's um, nice. Also on Steam, Arcan the most recent Arcana Heart has been released, uh, which is Love Max, I think it is. I'm just gonna stare. Really I'm gonna stare at you until you respond. So <laughs> why? <laughs> but that's my secret. <laughs> that's my secret. <laughs> but <laughs> so I, I hope that I just stare back long enough right. for you to be like, okay. That might have been the first time I've actually done that. <laughs> it definitely is, because that's been working for like yeah. four years. <laughs> But that is well, definitely coming out on Steam, which is cool because it's showing that Arxis is definitely putting a lot of games out on Steam. Though everyone keeps joking, we have to wait till the version after Revelator for Exerd, and then they'll put Vanilla Exerd on Steam. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's just the way it's been, so. But, uh, yeah, so that's coming out. Uh, also, one thing I did want to mention, um, just a really cool thing. Um, you can check this out on Lord Knight's Twitter. Uh, his Twitter is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's like Lord Knight BB. Yeah. So it's at Lord Knight BB, and of course that's K N I G H T. Uh, Lord Knight BB. But he just recently posted up a, a tweet longer that uh, I retweeted. Um, SRK even put a little article about it as well. But it's just a nice thing to read. I mean, it's one of those things that you should know when you get into fighting games, okay. you know, it's just good advice on, on, on playing fighting games, on your mental state, on how you should approach fighting games. And it's just sometimes it's good when you see someone put these things into words. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So it was just, I just thought it was a really nice read. So that's, that was really cool. Any, so, any anything in particular? Or? Uh, I'm trying to open it up. Right, oh, there it goes. There, there it goes. You know, like for example, like this one's my favorite one. Like tear whoring is a concept you've created. Right? He's like, understand that at the competitive level, people are going to do whatever it takes to win. Uh, people are also going to pick characters that they enjoy. At a competitive level, it doesn't really matter why someone plays X or Y. Anyone can play any character they want for whatever reason they want to. I'm with that. It's just like it's good to hear someone finally say something like that. You know what I mean? So um, you're not special for picking a certain character. Just because you play a low tier doesn't make you special yep. or secretly better by default. That's true. Your goal is to win, but you win by improving, so your real goal is to improve. Just a lot of really good nuggets here. That makes a lot of sense. Um, uh, I'm not going to read them all out because I, I would like you to go check him out, check out his Twitter. And, you know, if you like what you read, follow him. He, he posts up a lot of nice little um, nuggets of wisdom from time to time and stuff like that. So, But it's just good stuff. It's good stuff. And... Um, Ooh, yeah. man, I really like number nine. Yeah, I mean, I can just Be sit. open to criticism. General rule, if one person says something, maybe they can be wrong. 
But if many people say the same thing, you might have a problem. Yeah, that yeah, sounds right. General consensus in these games usually exist for a reason. So just a lot of, like I said, these things are should be obvious, should be like stuff that everyone just kind of assumes when you're going into it. But these are all things that nobody does. Like even 11, 11, you can't define what's fun for other people. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's like super important. In fact, there are, there are monsters out there who don't think that 12 is fun in Third Strike. Yeah, exactly. There are right? Monsters. Yeah, uh, there are monsters who think execution sucks. That's <laughs> pretty much. Actually, the, f the funny thing is, I don't mind 12's play style as much as I just hate him as a character. Mm. Most of my opinions Fair on enough. characters always come from that. Like I said, I don't like Urian much, but. The Aegis Reflector is just too interesting of a game yeah. mechanic for me to actively not like Yuria. Like, I like watching him play because that makes sense. he's such an interesting character that he can go from getting just destroyed and then he just puts you in the corner one time and then the whole thing changes because he has two meters. And somehow two meters translates into three Aegis Reflectors because yeah. <laughs> he builds meters so fast. And it's just super interesting. Don't like the character, but the you. gameplay style is cool. So. I hear you. Yeah. But yeah, again, good stuff from Lord Knight. Check that out again. That's at Lord Knight BB. So check on that Twitter. out on Twitter. Yeah. Um, but I think that's all I have here uh, in terms of random news. Okay. And I obviously haven't changed the sidebar stuff because I'm amazing at that. Well. Uh, have you played much Splatoon recently? Honestly, dude, I haven't played Splatoon in a while. It's probably been a couple of weeks. Yeah. Same here. I just haven't had a chance. The beta, the Street Fighter V beta actually got in the way for me mm, of yeah. Rising Thunder and Splatoon because I knew it was going away, so I kind of right. went in on those. I guess for me it's probably been about three weeks now that I think about it because I was all about Rising Thunder and then I was mm -hmm. all about Street Fighter V and then I've been all about MK since the patch came out. So oh, nice. Okay, it's okay, been, okay. I mean, cool. I've, been, I've been moving around a little bit, but I haven't played as much of the old ink sports as yeah. I probably should. I, I did jump in at one point because there was two new weapons right, that came I out. Them uh, I wanted to try them and see how they were. One of them was really interesting. It's like a very short range, fast charger. It's like, it's really interesting. But I actually went into the training mode once and picked one of the, the, the sniper rifles that I'm so god awful at yeah. and was just practicing aiming with it oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Because someone told me that the trick with the, with the sniper rifles, if you see someone running, is you don't aim at them, you aim exactly under them until For you sure. charge up and then you lift up and then let go so For they sure. don't see the laser on them, right? My problem is whenever I was trying to shoot someone, I'm like, let me shoot you uh, now. Uh, and the yeah. guy's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a mix up. It's a mix up. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. So I was actually just practicing like on the targets. I would like pick one that I want to shoot, charge up, and then quickly lift up, shoot, and stuff like that. Like I've definitely been killed by people who who are playing with chargers, who um, who I think are like leading, who like they're doing that right. They're like uh -huh. pointing below, and then I think they're gonna like raise up and shoot me. So uh -huh. I'm like, all right, fine. I'm gonna squid and move under you, but then they like move down. <laughs> I get you know I get shot. Like, there's right, a whole right, little mix yeah. up in there. Uh -huh. That is that's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, no, I need to get back into that, play a little bit more. I will say one thing, though, this weekend, I did get to play some Mario Kart on the Wii U 200cc. Ooh, I haven't done that yet. It's... I like it. Yeah? It's uh, fast. It's so fast that you can barely drive on the track. You really have to learn to use brakes. Oh, okay, yeah. The interesting thing about it, which change the whole way that it plays for me is while you're skidding and building up sparks you can break and as long as you break for short periods of time you maintain the spark because uh -huh. a lot of times you go around a curve and it's just so fast you just fly right off the track Sick. so you're actually breaking while you're racing it's like it was like really technique friendly interesting okay. and, it, and it really blows up like the fire hopping glitch doesn't matter anymore and all these it was like, I, I was playing it that way, then I went back to a 150cc, and it felt so slow and easy. Like, you could tell the tracks were designed exactly for 150cc. Right. Every turn were perfectly for 150cc. Right. But on 200, everything goes out the window, and it was actually really, really fancy. Interesting. So, I, I, I was like, I, I actually okay, really... Okay, I'll, I'll so try that then. So, if I play it on stream, because I know a lot of people, when I play Splatoon on stream, they're like, we should play Mario Kart. 
Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna force everyone into 200 cc. Awesome, man. I'm definitely <laughs> in that. Uh, oh, you know, I haven't played Ra Rising Thunder the last couple of weeks, but only because of SFI beta and MKX patch release. Uh, I really like Rising Thunder, and I imagine that I'll come mm -hmm. back to it soon for sure. But part of it was that. Talos was kind of silly for me. <laughs> Everybody was playing Talos. Yes. And I like to I like Talos. Mm -hmm, Talos mm -hmm, is a really mm -hmm, fun character. Mm -hmm. But I hate the mirror matchup. Of all the matchups that I've played in that game, of all the characters that I've used, Talos v Talos is the one that I hate the most. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. It sucks. I've always hated so. Grappler, Grappler, but that's just me. That's it's just never me. great, but right, like right. SF4 Geef Geef is like a buttons matchup and you're pressing strongs and whatever, mm -hmm. and it's not terrible. Um, it's not fun, but it's not terrible. Talos v. Talos is just awful, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I understand, I understand. But, you know, I think that they're going to they're gonna deal with that a little bit. Right, right. I've been playing a lot of MK, though. I mean, that's really what I've that's been... That's cool. No, I'm playing. glad, like, I'm glad. Dude, they, they did such a good job on Kotal Khan. He is so good. Okay, he is okay, so good. Okay. I don't know what ended up happening earlier tonight, but on Wednesday Night Fights, uh, a Blood God Kotal Khan player... Blood God Kotal Khan slash Goro player mm -hmm. made Grand Finals with, with Blood God, so I don't know if he won or not, but um, very, very cool that that variation is viable now, because yeah. I thought it might have been like in like long ways down the road before, but didn't seem like that was panning out, so the changes that they did, I think, made That's it really cool. legit. That's cool. I mean, it sounds like they made a bunch of really, really intelligent changes. It yeah, wasn't so. just like you know, throw what, what sticks, so that's yeah. always happy. And, and they, they did a good job, too, I think, of not really paying attention to a lot of the whining that I feel like sometimes they're susceptible to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Grandmaster Sub-Zero didn't really get that much, you know, he didn't really get buffed that much. And, like, Ferritor didn't get buffed that much, because mm -hmm, they, they believe mm -hmm. in Ferritor, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is uh, uh, awesome. And Kano didn't get buffed that much. You know, things like this that... Right, right. A lot of like, people... Kenshi like, didn't get buffed that much. Like, things that people are, like, mad about, <laughs> they, they nerfed Katana, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh, but uh -huh. I think that they're right about those things. So. Yeah. Or at least that they have a good chance to be right. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, um, do you have anything else that you wanted to talk about? Um, some people in the stream were asking about your shirt. Do you remember where you got that shirt from? I want to, I, I know, I, I recognize we, we, it. Yeah, somebody yeah. gave it to me and now I yeah, feel yeah, terrible. Yeah, I, I can't, remember, I can't remember which one. I feel like it was 86th, but I, I'm not sure right now. Oh no, uh, they gave me the Zangief Zangief wrestling yeah, shirt. I don't think it's yeah, 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 yeah. They gave me the Zangief Zangief wrestling shirt now that I think about it. You know, as yeah, I was walking. This one here, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was in the store and uh -huh. somebody stopped me and asked me if this is supposed to be Kevin Smith. <laughs> the director? Yeah, the director, yeah. Oh, I was like, that's God. funny, but it's not. That's really sad, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, um, I got nothing else for the day. I guess I don't either. Thank you for watching the Tuesday show on Wednesday makeup here. So. <laughs> I'm not sure if Oceania will get CPT events next year. That, uh, that would be cool. I don't know if it's yeah, th that's like feasible, really, because there's just... I mean, sure, I'm sure that there are scenes, but it's not like... I mean, because remember, Oz Hado, is, oh, Oz Hado is this weekend, right? But, and right. Then, but the weird one was Shadaloo Showdown. Remember this year, it was like really kind of like came out of nowhere. Like they moved the dates a lot and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, uh, yep, okay. The Philippines are a Pacific island. Mm, it's true, it's true. Uh, I don't know if that counts. <laughs> but yes... Um, once again, if you look down at the bottom there, follow us on Twitter, Twitch. You can subscribe to the Twitch. Now you get cool subscriber icons that actually work now instead of just a star. I did accidentally kill the punish him uh, emote. I haven't fixed it yet. I'll probably try to do that this weekend. Uh, I might actually replace it with, uh, with something else, actually. I might just change it to a completely different emote. Okay. Um, at some point, but uh, yeah, and then also you can support us on Patreon. Look, it says on our Patreon if you pay us certain amounts of money, we'll analyze videos for you. 
few of you have actually paid to that level. I've emailed all of you, and none of you have responded. Happy to do it. Just yeah. let us know. <laughs> <laughs> so I emailed you guys. If you're watching right now, check your emails. Whatever email you signed up to Patreon with is what I emailed. There might be one or two guys I haven't gotten to yet, but I definitely sent out an email to a bunch of people. So, um, yeah, I mean... Up, up to you. I mean, we don't need to do it. Just we, we, If you would like us to, we're happy to. On top of that, um, there are some people who are still giving us direct support via uh, PayPal. Yes. And if you'd like to continue doing that, fantastic. Uh, on the other hand, if you prefer to do Patreon, that's great too. It's totally up to you. I just, you know, I don't want it to be like a situation where like you think that um, by doing Patreon, like the PayPal is automatically canceled. It's not automatically, although we're happy to do it. So just let me know. Right. Totally up to you. If you want to subscribe to all three locations, more power to you. <laughs> up to you. <laughs> I did think of another thing that I did want to talk about though before we Oh, go. okay. Yes, yes. So, obviously, it was a game that a fighting a potential fighting game a lot of people talked about okay. disappeared after a while due to licensing issues, but it has seemed to have returned. And Main Six has <laughs> announced their new their fighting game, which now has an official title called Them's Fighting Herds. I approve. Oh yeah, it's. A good I one. approve. I approve. And I, if I'm not mistaken, the character, the, the the characters are all now still designed by. I'll have to do some research because basically they were MLP fighting is magic, right. which was the My Little Pony fighting game, which actually used the My Little Pony characters. Um, Hasbro didn't want to sue them or anything like that, but they're just like we can't have this. But they actually got the person who designed the new MLP characters to go and design them characters for them. So now if you watch it, it's it's still like equestrian animals fighting each other and equestrian. such. Equestrian. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, they're using the Skullgirls engine. Yeah. Because uh, that was one of the uh, Indiegogo goals. Uh, that that Skullgirls had if they got to it that they would give their engine to fighting his magic and um, It looks I saw some video footage of it. It looks really nice. I the, saw it too, dude. The That's animation cool. looks really good. So yeah, so that game definitely is um, Coming back so so that's actually really cool to see that it hasn't gone away because I actually thought it, it just stop like I thought it was done or something like yeah, that yeah it's been a while yeah but so apparently they're doing that again um, again that's by main six and uh, them's fighting herds <laughs> also did you hear about the melee in game <laughs> replays yes how genius is that dude how if you haven't heard about this in melee super smash brothers melee you can record in game and then play it back and you can play it back by frame and you can play it back with the hitboxes on display and genius of genius you can turn it back on player control so you can like play up to a certain point and then say okay now what if i had done this you can trade your replays. Mm -hmm. It's like it just saves on the memory card. You can, and they even said that that's so good. The memory card is compatible with the PC emulated version of Melee, so you can even do replays in like, like really nice resolution on the emulators. They were saying like you could record off stream matches onto the memory card and then upload them later. Dude, it's, it's just, just it's, so it's, it's so really, sick. It's really amazing. Cool. Someone said that, um, yeah, like you don't even need to mod your console or something like that. It just like, it just like it loads something and it just puts an extra menu that you access a certain way that you can just start doing re re recording and stuff like that. But it's 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 really cool. Actually, it sounds really really awesome. People just need to build this. These are the kind of things that people just need to build in the fighting games. Period. You just have to be part of it. it yeah. You know, really. It I mean, look, Street Fighter 4 and all these games already have replay. How hard is it to be able to pause and say, take over from here? I would think it would not be hard. Right. You just hit, you just unpause it and stop all the inputs and let you deal with whatever the human does at that point in time. So then you can see if I hit standing strong, would I have won? 
you know, or did I, what, what if I had thrown a fireball here? Would he have been able to jump over it? You would have just get so much information out of that. Yeah, that'd be so sick. So. Rather than having to go in a training boat and set up all these things and have to, <laughs> right. which, how many times have you done that? Dude, and, and like, a lot. people need tutorials on how to properly set up these scenarios a lot of ways. Right. Like, it's not just like, here, let me set up the scenario, go. It's like, all right, take advantage of the memory thing by going to here, quickly pause, change him to jump, unpause, do this, pause, and then reset the memory, and then try this. You know yep. what I mean? That's the way it works. So. Yep. It would be great to see natively SF5 has a chance to do it. Well, just a lot of games that are being worked mm -hmm. on that'll come out. Hopefully, they will have that. Yes. Hopefully, they will have that. Yes. It would be great. All right. Uh, cool. Did you hear about the tool-assisted speedrunner of uh, earlier Mario games who got a season desist order? Oh, I did Nintendo. hear, yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're cracking down now. Down. Yeah. They're cracking Specifically down. Specifically on tool-assisted. Oh, specifically tool assisted. I mean, well, ones. maybe not specifically, but among other things, tool assisted. I mean, they, they specifically called it out in the season desist letter. Right, right. Uh, that's the reason. Is one of the reasons why they didn't want it. And, you know, the speculation that it's because Mario Maker's coming out, right? And so mm. like they want like they do to play Mario Maker rather than right, right, right. playing on modded stuff. There's and not so maybe, much you can do about it. Maybe they're scared that people get it confused between them, right, or something. I don't know. Maybe it's ancient Nintendo. You know, maybe it's like that part of their lizard brain that still wants to like <laughs> shut down melee at evo like, who that, knows? that bowser brain yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. dude oh, uh, so yeah look as as the people involved as the speedrunners in that community you're totally at the whim of nintendo legally mm -hmm, speaking mm -hmm. they can do whatever they want it's, it's not really that much you can do to fight back about it which sucks it's a bad position to be in but that is right 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 that is the law <sighs> yeah oh, dude I'm so terrified of that game. A Mario Maker? Yeah. You think it's gonna take over? I just, I just think, I think it's gonna life? kill my life. Yeah. Cause, yeah. I mean, even back in the original Nintendo days, the amount of time I spent on Wrecking Crew, making stages that you couldn't even save. Right. I drew them onto graph paper so like I would have That's them awesome. in like for, to to archive them. I drew them into graph. Cause I knew I knew Mar I knew Wrecking Crew like the back of my hand. Like I know so much about that game; it's ridiculous. And so the the ways that we crafted stages were just like ridiculous. Like me and my brother would just like craft the most ingenious stages. And it's really limited too. There's really not that much you can do with it, right? And we still made some great stuff. Then, like I said, Mega Man powered up, almost took over my life, and now. I've never done that with platformers, but with other ones, like with uh, SimCity and Civ Locals mm -hmm, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. In fact, even back in Warcraft 3 days, I spent a lot of time <laughs> making stuff, so... Yeah. I could see myself uh, with the same sort of interests. Yeah. We will see, we will see. I'll definitely pick that game up. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'll take the risk. <laughs> I may have to stream that just so, you know, I can do some, like, I can... Put some use for some, it. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> so people can see me do this anyways. Okay. Um, thanks again for everyone for tuning in. And uh, we should be back on regularly scheduled time next week. So definitely tune in for the Tuesday show. And uh, both of us have been streaming a lot more often randomly. That's true. Uh, so keep an eye. So, you know, follow, at least follow uh, twitch.tv slash ultrachentv as well as twitch.tv slash jchenzo or twitch.tv slash ultradavid. In case one of us is hogging the Ultra Chen TV channel and the other one wants to stream as well. Indeed. So, okay. All right. Cool. I guess that's it for tonight. We'll see you next Dude, Tuesday totally, on Tuesday. I just totally did the Al Borland sign off. <laughs> Go home with the, okay, never mind. Anyways. Well, right. I, I watched. I'm not. I'm not. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I know. I know. I know. You know, oh, I watched plenty of it. Okay. Fun show. It's funny. I like it.